Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to develop ladder logic from Boolean expression. So let's look at the example first. Example 14, y is equal to a plus b into c plus d. And then y is equal to a plus b times c. So we will start with the first one. That is y is equal to a plus b into c plus d. So here we have all logic gate with a and b and then we have one more all logic gate between c and d. And then there is and gate between a plus b and c plus d. So for all the inputs we will use normally open contacts. And a and b will be connected in parallel with each other and also c and d will be connected in parallel with each other and then a plus b and c plus d will be connected in series so let's move to ti portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example so this is the interface of ti portal firstly we will go to plc tags default tag table so we have four inputs we have to add those here the first one is a then we have b then we have c and d so there are four inputs and one output that is y so here i will change the address it is not an input it is an output so it will be q 0.0, .0. and then we will minimize this window and then i will go to program blocks and main ob1 so here we will be drawing ladder diagram so firstly i will insert a normally open contact for uh, for uh, input a and then i will insert i will open the branch and then i have normally open contact and close the branch so this will be for a and this will be for b so this is a plus b so it will be a and then it will be B. And then we have uh, an logic gate. So I will uh, insert a normally open contact here. And then I will open the branch. One more normally open contact. And I will close the branch. And then we will close a branch here. So here it will be C and it will be D. And then I will insert a coil here and it will be Y. So for output Y to be on, either A and C should be on or B and D should be on or A and D should be on or B and C should be on. So, one of the two inputs should be on either A or B and from these two inputs, one of the inputs should be on either C or D. So, if A and C are on, output Y will be on. If A and D are on, the output Y will be on or if B and C are on, the output Y will be on or if B and D are on, the output Y will be on. So, we will start the simulator. load and then finish after that i will start cpu okay and then i will start monitoring on and off and then i will switch to project view i will create a new project
and after that I will click here and then go to simulation tables and simulation table 1 and then I will right click here and then load project tags. So all the tags will be loaded here. So now we will start the simulation. So when I turn on A, nothing happens and when I turn on B also, the output Y does not turn on. So with A, I will turn on C, then the output Y will be on or instead of C, I, will, I can also turn on D, then also the output Y will turn on. And then instead of A and D, I will turn on B and D, the output Y will be on. And then instead of D, I will turn on B and C, the output will turn on. So either A and C should be on or A and D should be on or B and C should be on or B and D should be on. So let's move to another example. That is y is equal to a plus b into c. So there is all logic gate between a and b. So a and b as normally open contact will be uh, connected in uh, parallel with each other. And then there will be c connected in series with a plus b. So let's move to ti portal. So here I will insert a normally open contact for a for A and then I will open the branch and then one more normally open contact and then close. So it will be A plus B, it will be A and it will be B. Then there is one more input that is C that is connected in series that becomes A plus B into C. So I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil. So this normally open contact will be C and then it will be Y. So now for output Y to be on, either A or B should be on and C is mandatorily should be on. It should be on. So for output Y to be on, either A and C should be on or B and C should be on. C should be always on. And then there is a choice, either A should be on or B should be on. So I will start the simulator and then I will start search and then load load and then finish after that i will start cpu okay and then i will start monitoring on and off and after that i will switch to project view and th there i will create a new project After that, I will click on this uh, arrow and go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. After that, I will right click here and then click on load project tags. So now we are ready to do the simulation. So if I turn on A, nothing happens. And when I turn on B also, nothing happens. So when I turn on A along with C, the output Y will turn on. And then instead of A, I can also turn on B with C, the output Y will turn on. So when I turn on A and B both, nothing happens, the output Y remains off. But with A, if I turn on C as well, the output Y turns on and instead of A, I will turn on B with C, the output Y turns on. So, uh, so input C should be on and then either A or B should be on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.